Hey what's up y'all, it's been some time since my last video, but I'm back and today we will take a look at some clinch work and possible options for takedowns or submissions. So let's start. Let's start with the technique explanation. We will start this drilling from pummeling and as I will feel that I have a deep and strong overhook, I will snatch it forward. By doing this, I will bring my partner's chest closer to the mat and simultaneously I will sweep his leg back. If I manage to make my partner touch the mat with his hand, this part of technique was executed properly and I can move on to the next part. Ok, we managed to properly execute the first part. Now let's take a closer look at the options that we have. Either we can go for a submission, which is anaconda choke or guillotine or we can go for a takedown as you can see in the footage. So at first let's take a closer look at the submission variabilities. Setup is quite easy, as my partner sweeps my leg back and makes me touch the mat with my hand. He wraps his free arm around my neck and connects his grip for anaconda choke. Another option here is to release overhook and immediately go for a guillotine as you can see here. The nice part about this is that, as I have a deep and strong overhook, I can immediately go and switch for the anaconda choke. Now let's move on to takedown option. As my partner touched the mat, I will step in with my leg behind his standing foot and finish takedown by picking his ankle up. It is important to mention that here it is necessary to constantly push to my partner. Placing your feet behind your opponent's leg is a very important detail and I cannot emphasize it more. It is also very important to execute this takedown as a one simple motion. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like and subscribe button and if you like the video don't hesitate to share with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you soon.